Today's patio chat is being brought to you locally by Westridge Furniture in Delphus. See it all at your finer outdoor furniture store. Well, there's so many great free shows at the Allen County Fair, and one of them is Tumbleweed Crossing, and we've got two of the four that are in the show joining me today marshall luke stevens of course that's mark hall and then we have dylan todd he is deputy leon and thanks you guys for coming today thank Our you for pleasure. having thank us thank you victoria for having us okay out. so tell us what's the show about i mean you guys are wild west so we got the good guys and bad guys what's, absolutely what's the well tumbleweed crossing is a mythical old west town uh, we've got, of course, the marshal and the deputy trying to maintain the peace, and we always end up with a couple of bad guys rolling into town. <laughs> mm -hmm. Doing what we have to do, we have to deal with them. I so bet. it's about 25 minutes of comedy, gunfight, and stunts. All right. So uh, the stunts and the comedy part, is that fun for you to do? Oh, yeah. Well, I don't really do much of the stunt part. Okay. We have, like, trained stunts that actually uh, do that part. We got like a high fall in the show. We oh, uh, oh. we work with um, guns and stuff like that. And we also have a little bit of a, a bottle break, which is a fun little stunt we throw in too. Oh. But I do all the comedy and I just <laughs> run around and be silly like the deputy always does. So. Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, so uh, tell us about the, the, the company. You guys travel around it. Did you guys write the show or did, you know, no, how did you guys actually, get together? And no, we actually are part of a larger company called Lanyap Productions, which began as three guys doing the gun shows at Six Flags over Texas back in 1975. Okay. Wow. And from there, they realized there were people all over the country who wanted to do gunfight shows. About 10 years ago, we turned our short gunfight show into a much longer show and built this old west town that we could pack up into a trailer and take to a county fair like this one here in Lima. And it was such a big hit, we actually built a second one. So we've got another oh, wow. set just like it over in uh, Ohio right now. Okay, all right. So, Dylan, what's it like being on the road, you know, being here in Lima for a while and then packing up and going somewhere else? It's fun. It's It's been a whirlwind. I've been on the road plenty of times, especially with Tumbleweed Crossing. We've gone all over the place. We go to California, we go to Ohio, Idaho, Mississippi, Missouri. We kind of go everywhere. It's uh, it's definitely, being on the road is uh, has its big like advantages it also has its disadvantages but the big advantages is you're with a group of guys and you just get into a lot of <laughs> shenanigans and yeah and you go to all different kinds and you get to see like how people live all over the country oh yeah i'm sure traveling must be one of the neat parts yeah okay so the crowd this sounds like a show that kids must really love but it's oh, good yeah. enough for adults too you you just let the whole family enjoy this show it sounds like Absolutely. we have it set so that there's a lot of things that the adults can appreciate, but there's also the kind of humor that kids get into. Yeah. And uh, the kids love to start yelling at the deputy. And yeah, definitely. It makes they, it a lot of fun. They also love the bad guys oh. and you know, the, the gunfights and everything. Yeah, we get a lot of kids at our shows, and they have a great time. Fortunately, our bad guys aren't too scary, so okay. it all balances out pretty well. Definitely. I would think they want to help you guys get the bad guys, you know, and tell them, hey, yeah. they're over there or whatever. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So. They'll always start yelling and telling me, look out. <laughs> there's one over there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, That's definitely. fun. All mm -hmm. right, so you've got shows daily, uh, mm -hmm. three a day, and then on Saturday you got four. They add an extra one on you. So That's right. Definitely. Every day at 2.30, 5.30, and 8.30, and then we throw in an extra show on Saturday at 12.30 for all the early comers. Yeah, yeah. exactly. All Absolutely. right, very good. So are you guys having a good time? Oh, we're having a great time. Yeah. yeah, we love it here, and everyone's been so friendly to us and very nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, that's very typical all over the United States. People are so inviting and want to make us feel comfortable. And this is my first time to Ohio, so uh, oh, I actually have to the uh, gotten State. a pretty good treat <laughs> just getting to meet some of the people around here. I actually awesome. was born in Ohio, too, so this is oh, like coming back to my oh, home state. Oh, you came back home then. Yeah. That's awesome. Definitely. Well, fun stuff, you guys. Thank you very much for coming to our fair and telling us about the show. Thank uh, you for having us. Thank All you right. for having us, Victoria. Don't go away. We'll take a look at the weather forecast next.